Money is not the secret to happiness, but it can help. New data has found a considerable link between a person's income and then overall happiness. President and CEO Kathy DeWitt and Dunn from DeWitt and Dunn Financial Services joins us to really share how our finances can increase our well-being. Good morning to you. Good morning and welcome back, Cleo. Thank you so much. Now, can money really buy happiness? I, I, people talk about this all the time. I think it can come. It can come close. Well, yes, actually money can buy happiness, but I mean, we have to make sure that we're prudent with what we do. You know, people that have higher incomes have the ability to have more access to, you know, food, clothing and shelter, and they're not worried about, you know, where um, they're going to, you know, they're not living paycheck to paycheck. And a recent study um, that was done showed that income levels and happiness do not go away once we've, you know, attained our basic um, financial needs. So it's pretty interesting to see how actually having money makes you feel more confident, you're inspired to do more, and people that are struggling with income, they're angry, they are not feeling good about the economy, and they're just struggling day to day. Right. You know, there are some people out there, I mean, many reports where, you know, people who do have money don't really find that happiness as well. So I feel like, you know, it's a back and forth with that, but can money make us unhappy? Well, I mean, if we're happy when we have money, obviously the reverse happens when we don't have money. And that makes makes us feel financially insecure. And everybody should be able to have the ability to be able to have gas, food, lodging, and clothing. But when you're living paycheck to paycheck, you're living and you're under stress and you are having a difficult time making ends meet. And you don't really feel the pleasure of buying things if you're you know, struggling on a a monthly basis. So what we really need to do is to take a look at a budget and look at where we can maybe cut back on expenses if you're really struggling. Now what financial roadblocks should we avoid to achieve financial happiness? Well, this is a very interesting scenario. So, you know, financial unhappiness for people is a very difficult discussion to have, but there's a couple of things that we really need to take a look at is lifestyle inflation. So when we start making more money, we were gonna end up spending more money versus maybe saving more money. And then the other thing is quick decisions are sometimes can be disastrous. So if you're gonna take a look at buying things that are, you know, small items, you might wanna take a, um, um, just kind of a pause and wait two or three days. But on a larger item, you definitely want to hold back 30 days. Because once we start to have money, we're going to start spending it. And we really need to have a plan in place for this additional income. Right. Kathy, before we go here, so how would you guys like, spend money to maximize satisfaction? Well, I think we also have to take a look at um, our retirement years. And putting money away for our future retirement is going to make our future self very happy with us. So what we need to do is to have a plan in place and take a look at long-term goals and save as much money as possible along the way. So that way when we show up to retirement, we're going to be able to have a successful retirement. All right. Makes sense. Kathy, thank you so much for joining us here on Daybreak. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Of course you too.